Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel, and in this video, we're going to be installing Fabric and Fabric Mods for Minecraft 1.18.2. before we get started hit that thumbs up on this video if you already enjoy it that will let youtube know that other people should watch this video as well subscribe while you're down there and also hit that all notifications bell to receive notifications whenever i upload one of these really cool videos also be sure to check out our minecraft server which is played at danielplace.net and if you want to see me actually stream on there then you can go over to the twitch thingy that will actually pop up on screen right now right over here where my finger is pointing should be right there so to get started installing fabric for minecraft 1.18.2 open up your minecraft launcher then once it's actually loaded go over to this menu right here and select the latest release which should be 1.18.2 if you can't find it you can also go over to installations and you should be able to find it over here under 1.18.2 or over here just select the one that says 1.18.2 and then click play this will make sure it actually downloads and installs Minecraft 1.18.2 to your PC. Once you've made it to the main menu, you can just click quit game now. The next thing you want to do is open up your browser. You can just do a quick Google search for Fabric MC. If you've already visited fabricmc.net before, it will take you there immediately. If not, you will see this and then you go to the first link right here and you'll be taken to this website where you click this download here button. Now, if you're on Windows, obviously you're gonna click download for Windows. If you're not, you're gonna download the universal jar. I'm on Windows and most of you will be too. So just click download for Windows right here. This will download an installer. And for some mods, you'll also need Fabric API, which you can download using this link. I'm not gonna show you how to do it, but it's actually very simple. And the way you install Fabric API is just like any other Fabric mod. And I'm actually about to show you how to install mods with Fabric. So click this installer. This will open up a new window right here and the latest Minecraft version should be 1.18.2. Now, if you're watching this in the future and for some reason want to go back to 1.18.2, you can click this menu right here and just select 1.18.2. Make sure it also says create profile and then once it says ready to install, just click install. It should only take a few seconds and then you can click OK. And now we've actually successfully installed Fabric. Now the next thing to do is to download the mods you want to be using with Fabric. For this one, I'm gonna use the Teeny Cole mod, which can be downloaded using the link down below in the description. You can also just look it up on Google yourself. It's a mod that actually adds tiny redstone, tiny coal, and also tiny torches. So if this is a mod that you think is cool, you can also download this one. But you can repeat this process for any Fabric mod that you download from CurseForge. And the same goes for Fabric API. You can also download that from CurseForge. And you just scroll down here to where it says Minecraft 1.18. You click this download file button right here. You wait five seconds for the download to begin. And then it will download a Java file. Now, even if it doesn't show a Java icon right here, that usually is a problem when, for example, installing Optifine or Forge. But for now, it's actually not a problem because we don't have to open this file. All I'm gonna do is drag this over to my desktop, just like that. And then we have the mod right here. And all you gotta do now is go over to the search bar right here, type in percent, app data percent, hit enter. You'll see these folders and you want to click the .minecraft folder. Now, if you've never installed mods before, there won't be a mods folder. So what you do once you're inside the .minecraft folder is right click somewhere, hover new, click folder, name it mods, all lowercase. That's it. And then double click. This should be an empty folder. And if you've installed mods before, there will be some mods in here probably. And you have to get rid of those because they will not be compatible, at least if you haven't updated them since the previous version. So what you want to do now is drag your mods over here. This will add the teeny coal mod and we're actually good to go now. All you got to do is click the Minecraft launcher. As you can see, it's just added the fabric profile to the Minecraft launcher for Minecraft 1.18.2. All you got to do now is actually click play. Some people have actually told me previously that they can't find this new installation over here because they have a ton of installations. So in that case, you go over to installations at the top here and you'll get a much better list of what profiles you have and you can even search for what installations you're looking for. So you just type in fabric and you click play right here. It will give you this pop-up 
just read it. And if you do understand the risks, you just tick this box and click play. So here we are in Minecraft 1.18.2. And as you can see, it says Minecraft 1.18.2 slash fabric modded, which means that we have now successfully installed mods. So you can repeat this process for any mod that you want to have in Minecraft with fabric. Now do note that some people don't know that there's a difference between fabric and forge mod loader. Forge mod loader is a totally separate mod loader, which is usually actually almost always not compatible with fabric mods. So don't confuse the two. If one of your mods is not working, make sure to check whether it's actually for forge or for fabric. And sometimes it's for both of them, but you still have to download separate versions for each one of them. So be careful with that. And once you've got that sorted, you should be able to use this tutorial to install any mod you want for Minecraft 1.18.2. So that's been it for this video. If this video actually did help you out in installing fabric with fabric mods for Minecraft 1.18.2, then be sure to hit that thumbs up on this video if you hadn't done so already. Subscribe for more videos like this one. And let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions, if the installation didn't work for some reason. I'll try to reply to as many comments as possible, but of course that is near impossible sometimes at least. So be sure to join our Discord if you actually need answers to your questions. Because there's quite a few people on there that actually know a lot about Minecraft. And then of course, as always, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya!